book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 7. But the Lord said to me, Do not say that I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. When the Lord called prophet Jeremiah, he tried to say many excuses and escape. But the Lord was categorical. The Lord said, you should go to all to whom I sent you, and you should speak whatever I command you. Basing on this verse, on several occasions, I have preached on the importance of going out of comfort zone in search of new mission places. I have exhorted my own priests and all the priests where I went for retreat. Today I have been called to leave what I preached. Today I have been called to fulfill what I believed and preached. I am called to go out of a very comfortable place to a new mission land. So I am accepting this trusting in the Lord. Just as the prophet Jeremiah had several excuses, humanly speaking, I have several reasons to say no. I have several excuses, but I believe in the word of God. I trust in the God, in the Lord who called me. So I am taking up this mission purely trusting in the providence of God. On this occasion, in a special way, I remember the eyes of Father Labad. I am here today only because of the eyes of Father Labad. 23 years back, on 22nd June 2001, I went to Adilabad as an ex-seminarian. This diocese loved me much more than what I deserved. This diocese molded me as a seminarian. This diocese molded me as a priest. This diocese molded me as a bishop. And today I believe that this diocese, with great sacrifice, offers me as the bishop of another mission diocese for the glory of God and for the good of the Siro Malabar Church. So I cannot but remember the Dice of Adilabad and former Bishop Joseph Kunnat. So I take this opportunity to thank most sincerely Bishop Joseph Kunnat, all the priests, sisters and faithful of the Dice of Adilabad. Standing here, I can experience the heartbeat of every faithful in the eyes of Father Labad. I can see the tears rolling down on the faces of the people in Adalabad. So it is a sacrifice. It's a great sacrifice. Though I am pretty sure that my body, mind and soul are inseparably attached to the eyes of Father Labad, the pain that I am undergoing now is much more than what I myself imagined. So with this sacrifice, I enter into the new mission land of Shamshabad, trusting in the Lord. As we know, the establishment of the Diocese of Shamshabad was a milestone in the history of modern Siro Malabar Church. I firmly believe that the Holy Father or the Holy Catholic Church granted us this great diocese not for just taking care of the people who are living there as migrants. This diocese has been granted to us in order to extend our missionary activities to the whole of India. I would be very happy if with my humble service, I can prove to the world that Sura Malabar Church is not confined to the boundaries of Kerala. Even though the Siro Malabar Church is six other parts of Kerala, I feel the church struggles to get out of the Kerala framework of thinking. If we want to grow, if we want to become a universal church, 
with a particular nature we need to get out of this mental framework and we need to say that Sura Malabar Church is not just a Kerala church. Sura Malabar Church is at the same time a particular church and a universal church. And we have to make it a reality. And I feel that I will do everything possible with my humble service to make this a reality. This is my only hope. We have to make the Sura Malabar Church felt outside Kerala outside the boundaries of Kerala and it cannot be fulfilled just with my humble service. We need many supports. We need many helping hands. So I request all of you to help me with your praise and with all your possible support so that we may make our Sura Malabar Church a real global church for the glory of God and for the good of the people. We have the largest uh, crowd in front of us who are not baptized or who are not evangelized. So living with them, we cannot be blind to the people who have not yet heard Jesus. We have to understand these people and we have to make the gospel heard. We have to make Jesus known to all these people. So let us offer this great desire at the feet of the Lord and pray so that the church may grow through our humble service. Finally, I thank His Beatitude, the Head and Father of our church, Mar Raphael Tuttle, all the archbishops, all the bishops of the Synod for the trust that you, you have um, put in me. And I thank all the media people, all the friends, priests and sisters who are present here. I humbly ask your prayers for me. I am taking up, as I told you, this duty, trusting in the Lord. So let the Lord guide me and please pray for me. May God bless us all.